Others frequently misunderstand the INTJ stare, also known as the INTJ death stare. They may be spotted glaring at someone or off into a random corner of the room. Their look may be intense, as if they are furious about something. When this happens, they are often asked what is wrong. An INTJ is typically confused because they are generally totally fine when they are displaying this concentrated expression. The INTJ is frequently unaware that their face appears aggressive or intense to others because this stare is not necessarily due to emotion. Some INTJs may have a deer in the headlights gaze, while others have a highly intense piercing stare. Most likely they are not looking at anyone or anything in particular but looking through a person or a situation. There is a lot of weight behind their expression, which can be intimidating to others if they don't understand where it's coming from, which is why I'm going to shed some light on the seven hidden intense reasons behind the INTJ's stare. Make sure to watch till the end of the video. There are things in this video that I am sure most INTJs haven't even thought about before. Let's get into it. Welcome to Success for Breakfast, where I'm serving up brain food made simple. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest videos created to give you the tools to level up your life. Starting things off today is INTJs are in deep thought. Being deep in thought is one of the most essential explanations for this type of behavior in INTJs. They have a separate world in their heads from the outside environment. They truly sink within themselves and become engrossed in the details. These details are sometimes so intricate that they remain in this state for an extended period of time, which helps them make challenges easier to solve. INTJs use their analytical mind to try and solve one or more problems, but it can be difficult because of their mental frenzy, which is not visible from the outside. It simply looks as if they are staring at you with an intense glare. When they're introspecting or analyzing something, INTJs don't like to be interrupted. They are also more prone to be irritated by minor interruptions. When INTJs engage with their inner world, they appear to be separated from reality. Their facial expressions may shift to make you believe they are angry or upset. However, they are simply engrossed with their inner ideas, and these concepts are so enticing to them that nothing can hold their attention for more than a moment. Next up, and number six, is INTJs are bored. Don't get me wrong, an INTJ is rarely if ever actually bored because of their analytical mind. An INTJ themselves is a source of creativity and inner charm. However, when they are in a dull environment, they take refuge in the world inside them, where there are always exciting things to think about. They can even create intriguing scenarios in their imagination from the situation in which they find themselves and find creative solutions to the subject under discussion to escape the situation and boredom, often appearing that they are zoned out and staring off. INTJs prefer to stay home and spend time with themselves rather than going to a party or an environment that does not appeal to them. This is because of their dominant function of introverted intuition. When they are in a group or situation that is boring for them, they look for other ways to pique their mind. Of course, you should know that when they are in their heads and staring intently, they may seem separated from the conversation, but this isn't really the case. Because an INTJ can observe and process absolutely everything going on at once, if asked their opinion, they will react and be part of the discussion as if they were paying attention the whole time. The number five reason behind the INTJ death stare is they are being resistant. Resistance is a common feature among INTJs. With this staring, they sometimes want to express their opposition to the circumstance. When someone attempts to confront an INTJ, they are met with this intense expression. An INTJ might act with indifference, as if to say, if the world burns, I'll just wait and stare. This facial expression might also indicate stubbornness in a complicated situation. Of course, it's critical to understand that this behavior is merely a sign of resistance in order to protect themselves in unpleasant situations. INTJs are not a good candidate for you if you want to try to demonstrate your power. Although they are introverted when they want to demonstrate their inner resistance and determination, they don't avoid it and will challenge you. Many people find it unusual, yet everyone has their own set of limits that no one has the right to enter and breach. 
Next up in number four is an INTJ is really interested. It may be difficult to believe, but while this look can be a sign of boredom, it can also be due to their attraction to the situation or a person. INTJs can stare when the situation is fascinating or compelling to them, and this conduct is motivated by a desire to make effective eye contact with their audience. Attracting a disciplined and capable person is difficult. Now, add introversion to the list. When you can't seem to engage them and want to hear their feedback, this stare can be an encouraging indication that they are interested in what you are saying. Take it as a compliment because it is very challenging to arise the interest of an INTJ. When an INTJ finds a conversation or interaction appealing, they don't control their facial expressions and through their intense stare, demonstrate that every word of the conversation is compelling to them and they don't want to miss out on any details. This look is not meant to imply that they intend to murder the person they are talking to, although it can feel that way. Be sure to hit that like button if you've gotten some value from this video so far. That signals YouTube that you think other people could benefit from this video too. Starting our top three reasons behind the INTJ death stare is they are angry. If the INTJ feels upset about something you did or said, you'll notice it first on their face. This is not a blank expression, but rather an intense gaze of disbelief or utter contempt. They may combine the look with a shake of the head just before saying something or leaving the situation. Although INTJs are very introverted and don't like to express their feelings, this death stare sometimes represents their displeasure that they simply don't want to share out loud. It's tough for them to be in a circumstance where they can't stand a person or a situation, and here's where they express their rage or lack of interest very clearly with an intense glare. There's nothing worse than when an INTJ is confronted with stupidity. And it is in these situations that they may be unable to articulate their emotions and decide to show their frustrations with this death stare. In the runner-up spot is an INTJ is figuring you out. An INTJ can become so engrossed in a person that they are unaware of how fixated their stare becomes. The intensity of their gaze, directed at the person of interest, can make individuals feel uneasy. Behind the appearance is an active, inquisitive intellect eager to learn more about the interesting person. In this situation, the gaze could be a prelude to an introduction or an attempt to grow closer. If the INTJ is genuinely interested in you, they may be otherwise covert, but the stare and other nonverbal cues tend to give them away. As I have mentioned, this stare in this situation is a huge compliment because very few people can actually captivate an INTJ. So if you find yourself on the receiving end of this stare, you don't necessarily have to be alarmed. You may have just found one of your most loyal friends in life. Topping our list and the number one reason behind the INTJ death stare is an INTJ didn't expect that from you. Be wary of an INTJ's profound face of disappointment. When an INTJ looks at you, the message of the gaze is that I expected more from you. With this expression, they are showing that they were thinking about you differently or they expected you to support them. That look says everything that an INTJ wants to say without muttering a word. This look does not imply that they intend to cause you harm, but it does imply that they are disappointed in you. INTJs have very creative intuitions and come up with unique solutions to issues. Despite their introversion, they are constantly supportive of others in their inner circle who are experiencing extreme emotions. However, if you disappoint them, you will absolutely know within seconds by looking at their face. If you look closely, you can see that there typically isn't any wrath behind this stare. An angry INTJ can be a highly intense person, but it takes a lot for them to get to that point. INTJs can be easily agitated or annoyed, but they rarely allow themselves to become completely enraged. The INTJ's look is more times than not simply a strong focus and a flood of thoughts. Are you an INTJ that has had comments made about your intense stare? Leave your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. You've got this, now go get it done. Grab yourself some more INTJ brain food and click on one of the videos on your screen right now.